Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I've discussed about what is EFA and some of the considerations before performing the analysis. Today, we're going to carry out EFA by using SPSS. These are the key steps of performing EFA, which consisting of six steps. We will begin with step one, determine the extraction method using EFA. The aims of extracting the factors is to simplify the factor structure of a group of items. There are several types of extraction method, but the most commonly used are principal component analysis and principal assets factoring. We can decide the extraction method based on the data distribution or the normality. If your data is normally distributed, you can go for maximum likelihood estimation. But if your data is deviated from normal distribution, QDEC has recommended the use of PFA as the more suitable extraction method. We are going to use the data set which we had used in the last demonstration, which we have examined the normality and we had also identified and removed the outliers. In this data set, we have 32 items, which are designed to measure four different constructs, namely attitude, perceived benefits, perceived barriers, and also self-efficacy. The instrument is developed based on the health belief model. To begin with EFA, we need to go to the toolbar and select Analyze, go for Dimension Reduction, and select factor. You can see all your variables are included in the columns here. Click Ctrl A to select all the items and insert into the variables column. Then go to descriptives. For statistics, we will tick initial solution. And for correlation metrics, select coefficients, significance levels, determinant, and also KMO and Butler's test of sphericity and click continue. For extraction, you can see the default method is principal component analysis. But since our data is deviated from the normal distribution, then we should select principal assets factoring. For analyze, we will use correlation metrics, display, tick, screen plot, which can be useful for us to determine the number of factors to be retained later. For extract, since we still don't know we have how many factors, then we will choose to extract the factor based on Egan value and set the value as one, then hit continue. For rotation, scores and options, we can leave it aside first, since we will not be examining the output for it at the moment. Now click OK to run the analysis. You can see the output for this analysis included a correlation matrix that shows the relationships or correlations between the items. Tabernick and Fido recommended inspecting the correlation matrix for correlation coefficients over 0 0.30. If there is no correlation beyond 0 0.30, that means the item could be irrelevant and not correlated with any factor. Then we should consider removing it. Let's look at the example here. For attitude one, it has a perfect correlation of one with attitude one. And it also displays some extent of correlation with other items in the questionnaire in the instrument. And you can see the value here are more than 0 0.30. So it means it is safe to keep the item. You can see the rest of the output include KMO Bartley's test, commonalities, total variance explained, screen plot, and also factor matrix. For KMO and Bartley's test of sphericity, it is used to assess the suitability of data for EFA. The KMO index ranges from 0 to 1, with a value more than 0 0.5 considered suitable for factor analysis. And it is recommended when you have cases to variable ratio less than 1 to 5. For Bartlett's test of sphericity, 
the result should be significant with p-value less than 0.05, which indicated an EFA is appropriate to be carried out. Commonalities is the extent to which the item correlates with all other items in the analysis or the variance contributed to the factors in the factor solution. Higher commonalities are commonly preferable, with a value greater than 0.8 considered as high, 0.4 to 0.7 considered as low to moderate, and less than 0.4 indicated that the item is not related to all other items. Therefore, we can remove the items or add more items to explore the potential factor. You can see at the example here, the items attitude 5, barrier 10, efficacy 5 has commonalities of values less than 0.4. So we will eliminate the items from our analysis later. That's all for today's video. In our next video, we will continue with the approaches used to determine the number of factors to be retained in EFA. Hope you had enjoyed the video and the information discussed in this session are useful for your research.